इस ए एन एन न्यूज ब्रीफ गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम लूसी अडेमी The African Union AU has suspended Sudan from all AU activities following the deadly crackdown against protesters. AU's Peace and Security Council says that the suspension comes into effect immediately and will continue until the country establishes a civilian-led transition authority. The suspension comes after members of the security forces shot dead dozens of protesters in the capital Khartoum. It says this was the only way out of the crisis. Sudanese health ministry says 61 persons have died in the violence including three security personnel who were stabbed to death. Meanwhile, doctors linked to the opposition protest movement say more than 100 civilians were shot dead by the security forces. The United Nations and several foreign governments have condemned the bloodshed. Armed police in Malawi were reported to have used tear gas to disperse protesters on Thursday demanding the resignation of Malawi's president after an election they say was rigged escalating the state response to the protest that began 2 days ago thousands of supporters of opposition parties took to the street of the capital Lelongwe with one group occupying a complex housing the presidency and government offices for a third day Protesters said police had also fired bullets. Police spokesman James Kado Zera said a child had been accidentally shot but survived. He provided no further details. President Peter Mutharika narrowly won a re-election in the country last month. Opposition parties complained of irregularities including police station result sheet, sections blotted out or altered with correction fluid. We'll be back after the short break. World Health Organization WHO expert said on Thursday roughly a quarter of Ebola infections in eastern DR Congo are estimated to be going undetected or found too late. Dr. Mike Ray, an executive director of WHO's Health Emergencies Program, says more than 2,000 cases and 1,377 deaths have been recorded since the epidemic began in August in the Democratic Republic of Congo's North Kivu and Ituri provinces. It is the second worst outbreak of the virus on record. Some 88 infections have been detected each day of the last two weeks, down from a peak of 126 weekly in April. Ryan says WHO teams are following up on 15,000 suspected contacts each day. That's in a news brief. Thanks for watching. For details on these and other stories, visit our social media platforms and join the conversation on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.